15 minutes from my house because most weekends I have to fly and travel, and people always say, "Guy, don't you hate that having to travel every weekend?" I actually don't mind it at all because I do this thing when I go through TSA security. I suggest you guys try it.、Um, I leave a little quarter in my pocket. <laughs> Ever happened to you? It's kind of nice. Let me just tell you. <laughs> the Daiki TSA officer is like, "Excuse me, miss. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to swipe you."、Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you mind if I do the other side? No, I don't. No, I. <laughs> is that an underwire bra you're wearing? I don't know. Is it? Is it? Ah.、Uh... It's just nice, you know, to be touched <laughs> for a long flight. Cause、um, I'm married, so I have to pay people to touch me. And、uh... so, like, the first thing I do whenever I'm on the road is I book a massage. And last weekend I was in San Diego and I got this massage and the guy did it so good he just totally worked out all the knots you know in my breasts. And then, but then he was like, you know, you should start getting massages on a weekly basis because you're still just carrying a lot of stress in your vagina. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I had no idea that there were toxins in there, but thank you for releasing them, Raoul. <laughs> you know, you are the professional. I didn't go to school for it, so who am I to judge? You know. Yeah. So I have been married 13 years. Thank you. Happily for six, just some ups and downs. But you know what? I made a promise to God, and I plan on going to heaven. And the rest of you can fuck off, okay? Because I'm on the list. I'm on the list. No, I.、Uh, I do feel kind of like right now in America, like the most celebrated woman is the divorced woman. You know, everyone's like, "Good for her. She kicked it to the curb, and she lost all that weight in single moms club." And that's all well and good. But what about the woman that stuck with a fat fuck for 35 years? You know. Props. I mean, isn't she kind of like the unsung hero of America? I mean, come on. I was watching this thing on the news, and、uh, I love it when they do those stories when the soldiers come home, you know. And there was this marine, and he came home and he surprised his son on the football field. And then they said, and earlier in the day, his wife greeted him at the airport, and she was not a bad-looking woman. So I don't mean to sound like a bitch, but she showed up in like a greasy ponytail and an ill-fitting sweatshirt. I'm like, really? Your hot marine just did 18 months in Afghanistan. Like, you can't get a blowout and slap on some lip gloss? Come on! No wonder our soldiers come out home depressed. It's like, God, step it up, wife. Seriously, my husband fixed the water pressure on our kitchen sink and I blew him. That's what I'm doing for America. Okay? He's not killing terrorists, making it safe for us to live. You know? But it was really drippy and then it was really strong. And I just wanted him. To know that I appreciated it because it really made a difference. <sighs> My husband, I love him, but he's cheap. And I want to tell the girls that are maybe dating someone who's cheap, or you're newly married. It doesn't matter how well you do. If your husband is cheap, he's cheap for life. It's a genetic gene. <laughs> I figured it out. My husband and his sister and his mother are all carriers. There's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta roll with it to make the life, you know, better. And.、Uh, But there is a bright side. If your husband is like mine and insists that you share a fountain drink at a Panda Express, <laughs> why would you buy two? I mean, they're like a dollar seventy-three. What are you crazy? <laughs> no one's going to say anything when you fill it up twice and ask for two straws. I mean, okay, fine. You know what? The kids are going to college. Whatever. Be frivolous. Lose the house. <laughs> so, if your husband insists that you share a fountain drink at a Panda Express, ladies, there's an excellent chance that he will never spend a grand on a hooker. I'm just saying. <laughs> We have three kids, and、uh, the other day we wanted to do something fun together as a family, so we decided to go to Chipotle. <laughs> and,、uh, but the problem was my husband had two coupons, but you're only supposed to use one per family. So we had to pretend like we weren't a family. I swear <laughs> to God. I wish I was making this up. I went with my daughter. We waited for like a stranger or two to come behind us, and then as we're going through the burrito line, we're like, "Don't look at each other," you know. <laughs> And then we sat at two different tables, just doing something together, but not really together. And then my son forgot, and like halfway through the burrito bowl, like tried to tell my daughter something, and she's like, "No, Drake, we're not supposed to know each other. What Dad did was illegal. He's going to be arrested. We're going to go to jail. He's going to lose the house."、No. Like nice childhood memory. The girl is going to have like post-traumatic stress disorder every time she sees some salsa now. Great. Then my husband said to me, he goes,、um, 
So this box of condoms is about to expire, so... <laughs> you want to do something about it or what? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, I'm so wet right now, I don't know if I can control myself. <laughs> When you talk to me like that, so sexy, it's...